welcome to the Built to Last video series. I'm Sarah and I'll be your host as we travel around the country to meet with some of the world's most innovative manufacturers. We're touring shop floors and getting up close with massive machinery. And it's all in an effort to show how products you use every day truly are built to last. Today we've traveled to St. Charles, Illinois, just outside of Chicago, to Bison Gear and Engineering. At Bison, they specialize in gear motors. And if you don't know what that is, let's just say if you've ever had soft serve ice cream, you may have Bison to thank for that. Let's go inside and find out why. All right, John, well, thanks so much for being with us here today at Bison Gear and Engineering. Sure, well, welcome. We're, we're glad you're here. Thanks. Um, to give a little history on, on Bison, we've been around since 1960. The company was founded in 1960 by three people with the last names of Bragan, Schultz, and Nelson. Taking the first initials of, of their last name, throwing in a couple of vowels, you end up with the name Bison, and, and that's how the, the company name came about. Bison has been primarily a, a gear motor company through the years. So we've got one of your um, one of your parts right mm -hmm. here, and is there is there one that you guys are most known for? And can you just talk a little bit about that? Sure. Um, this one in particular is called Power Star. It is one of our newer products. It's a high efficiency, right angle product. It can replace units that are much bigger in size, so you can get a more compact, more economical, um, higher capable product uh, out of that size. But what we're really known for is that engineering capability and support that we provide to our customers. We really like to think of ourselves as an extension of our customer's engineering team. We can come in and work with them to get them the right solution, whether it be a, just, a, just a gear motor or whether it includes the, the gear motor and controls and the drive to make sure everything is running at the, um, at the right speed, the right pace to meet what they need. Well, now we're here with Matt Hansen and Aaron Hansen, and between them, they have about 30 years experience here at Bison, and so they're gonna to talk to us about some of their products specifically, and then also about their business development. How do your products get into a customer's design? Our uh, product configurator, uh, obviously via our website, or through a network of, of websites that customers can access, uh, they're able to download, uh, configure products, download information, and actually incorporate those models right into their products. The idea is to make it as easy as possible for the customer to get the information they need and incorporate it into their design. You know, the people that specify our gear motors are typically engineers. They're normally working in a 3D environment, so they're on screen. Their uh, machine is built of multiple different component parts, and when it's time to find a gear motor to drive it, they normally have an idea what they're after, either a parallel or a right angle product, and they also understand what type of power they're going to run it with and, and they'll come to our website. At that point they would typically download a 3D model and bring it into the design to, to see uh, you know, how it fits. Because oftentimes a, a product on screen looks great until it gets onto the machine itself and it's either too big or too small, that type of thing. I think one of the big benefits of the configurator is not only the kind of the ease and access to that information but it's the ability to sort of customize a product for a customer specific application. All right, well we are here with George Thomas, who has been with Bison for 34 years. You're an executive vice president. And today you're gonna to show us what you do here at Bison and give us a behind the scenes look. Sure thing, let's right. go. Good. So we've got about 85,000 square feet on the shop floor. Uh, we're, we're situated in four quadrants. where gear blanks are started, where gears are started. We buy steel bar stock that's cut hold some of these? into slugs, okay. yes you may. And that's just basically 12 foot bar cut into slugs like slices of bread. We put it on these lathes over here, they chuck the part up on the lathe, they turn it, they face it, they bore it, and they're basically turning it into a gear blank. And then they shine it up and make it look nice. That's what they do. Okay, what do we have here? Now we take those blanks that they just machined, we load them onto this hobbing machine, where the machine puts them in and there's a hob underneath the part that's rotating. The parts are rotating, moves from left to right, generates the gear teeth. It looks something like this. So it goes from that smooth uh, gear, start product, gear, if blank. You will, gear blank, to this is like the finished product of this station. That's correct. If there's anything we're world, we are world class in, it's gear cutting. 
because I think it's, it's really an insidious part of the gear motor. You can do it almost right mm. and it'll sound okay and it'll get out in the field in the final product, but it won't wear properly. And if you don't wear, if you don't wear evenly across the surface of the teeth, you're gonna get premature wear, premature failure. You know, it'll fail in six months instead of five years. And I think that's where we've, we've made our name, is that really robust, durable gearbox that doesn't give you problems in the field. Yeah. Well, in this area we're making, you're winding DC motors. And the DC motor starts with the armature, the inside of a motor. See, the way this works is that I've got these opposing coils of copper wire, and I've got my DC voltage that's gonna flow in through this commentator. When it flows through that wire, it creates a magnetic field and this is eventually going to be sitting inside of a magnet. So when two magnets attract or oppose each other, you know, they want to move. So it gets attracted and it moves, but once it moves, the commutator moves on to another set of bars. Now I've excited a new set of coils and it wants to move again. So I'm really just creating so it a makes it turn. I'm chasing a magnetic field. That's how it gets a rotation. This is where we're making the stators for the AC motors. Unlike the DC motors, the stators have all the windings in the outside stationary part. So what would this be used for? How is this different than the piece that we just saw? So you know, this is used in almost every type of equipment you can imagine. A real popular one is ice making and ice dispensing machines. If you press your cup against the bar and ice drops into it, 100% chance there's a bison gear motor wow. that's underneath the machine, turning this big tree-like stainless steel auger to move the ice past an opening to drop into your cup. You're welcome. That's Thank right. you, bison. That's right. After it gets wound and pressed into a nice shape, they attach the customer leads to the magnet wire, and then they put it on this stitching machine where it takes this insulating string and it wraps it around this coil. So this is the final motor ready to go to the gear motor assembly area. It's got the stator that we saw being wind. It's got a fan and fan shroud for cooling, and this is the motor shaft we made over in the hobbying department. And they'll, they'll, they'll put gears on and sell this as a final product. This goes on to an ice cream machine. Yeah, we picked uh, up the right one. A soft serve ice cream machine. You know, when you lift the handle and ice cream comes into the cone, yep. the ice cream comes out because it's under pressure, and our gear motor is what supplies that pressure. It keeps it stirred and keeps it pressurized so that it can be dispensed. What is this guy? So this is the final Power Star gear motor. This has got the motor that we wound over in the AC motor department, and it's got our gearbox with our hypoid gears and our normal gears inside. They assemble it on this line right behind me, they test it, and then it goes in the box. Okay, and so this one can be designed with the um, Comedis Part Solution configurator. Right, there's a lot of variables that go into picking your gear motor. There's the motor size, the voltage, the ratio, the torque you need, the, the t orientation for mounting that you need. So that's the kind of thing there's there's dozens of variables and this part solution helps to pick out this is what the customer wants exactly, now build your product. Well George, this has been, it's been fun, really interesting. I think probably the biggest takeaway is that so many of your products are behind the scenes on so many products that people use every day. You don't realize it, but using bison gear motors all the time. Yep. Well, thanks for showing us around, and I think that I'm never going to look at ice cream making and ice making the same after this tour. So awesome. I appreciate your time. Glad thanks to very have much. You. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today. If you'd like to learn more about bison gear and engineering, check out bisongear.com. And if you'd like to learn more about how your company can improve their digital experience, check out partsolutions.com. Thanks for watching.